Hello everyone, Peter here. This one I just want to run through quickly the importance in choosing the right head gasket for a diesel and how it's changed. Well, I'm going to use 20 years as an example. Here we have a 1GD out of a 2017 Hilux and we're going back to a 3L 2.8, same capacity out of a 97 Hilux and how things have changed and how important it is to actually put the correct hedge gasket, take the measurement and take the time to fit the right one because that effectively lasts the life of the engine. So it is very important. This one, this is just to give you an example. This is a piston out of the 2.8 out of the 97 Hilux, basically a flat top piston. They do have a bit of a transfer port here for to line up with the pre-comp chamber, but as basically as far as valve reliefs and everything go, they're virtually a flat top piston compared to the 1GD, which I'll show you in a second. Back when people were choosing head gasket thicknesses for this, the biggest thing people would worry about is thinking the piston was going to hit the head, um, which would have to be extreme for it to do that. But that's what people used to panic about. And therefore it sort of came in that people would just throw the thickest head gasket on and see how you go. With the 2.8, obviously pretty common rail where you're just chucking as much fuel in as you can and making it uh, try and burn as long as you can. It's not a real efficient style of doing it. So when we come to a modern engine, as in the 1GD out of the 2017 Hilux, or whether it be a 1VD out of a Land Cruiser. The top of the piston is totally different. I'll flip a photo up. You now have valve reliefs in the top of the piston. Effectively, what they're trying to do is get the piston to, you've got to remember, the most important thing to remember is the piston chases the exhaust valve, okay? So you want that piston sitting right on the back of that exhaust valve, as close as you can get to it. With the, like the later model diesels, we have valve reliefs in the top of the piston. What you're actually wanting the piston to do is effectively pass the valve to try and push as much exhaust out as you can. And obviously on the intake stroke, run it down as much as you can. So when you take your measurement, it's extremely important. If you don't, effectively what you're doing is then spacing the, the valve away from the piston, which is effectively detuning it because you're then yeah, it needs to be, like I say, that piston needs to chase the exhaust valve for efficiency. So you, the last thing you want to do is face it away. With the head gaskets, it's simply a matter of just keeping, well, basically, we just keep them all in stock. Toyota use letters. So that's an E, which is the thickest one. That's an A, which is the thinnest one. So you just take your measurement and fit the appropriate head gasket to match the protrusion you have. So it is very important because, as I say, that then sets the efficiency of the engine over the life of the engine. And for a few minutes that it takes to just take a reading, select the right gasket, keep them in stock. Um, like I say, one VDs are the same. So it is very important to take the time and not just, you see it with online rebuild kits, they now all have E-head gaskets in it, it's cheap and nasty. Take your time, do it right, take the measurement, fit the right gasket, then you know it's right forever. If I can help, please give me a call.